Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Once again, I am in the great outdoors. I'm in the shade. There's a nice breeze blowing today. You can hear the sound of the air conditioner running on the shop probably. Sorry about that. Maybe the random truck going by. I wanted to put the tiger tail to bed one way or the other. Hollywood had said something one time to me about SWR doesn't really show the entire story of what's going on, and it doesn't. It's a standing wave ratio. So I wanted to, I want to use a radio, FT5D, same one I've been testing with, a 19 and a half inch tiger tail, and my RF detection setup that I made um, for Coffee and Ham Radio Show. Smoke and Ape made one. Um, his is beautiful and very professional looking in a fancy box because that's how he rolls. Mine stays in a plastic Ziploc bag when I'm not using it. It's just a board and some wires hanging off because that's how I roll. So I want to take a look at this in detail with my RF detection setup and see if we can determine is there more signal coming out when I use a tiger tail than without a tiger tail. And our test setup is I have a small table set up here in front of me. The radio will be at one corner. The RF detection rig will be at the other corner. And we're using my pros kit meter to see what kind of signal we're going to see. So with all that being said, let's jump in and take a look at the test setup and then get some data and um, see where we're going from there. Okay, guys, so we're set up here with our test rig. And what we've got is the antenna for the RF detector right over here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There it is. And we have our RF detection board. Ape and I built these. We did a show on them on Coffee and Ham Radios. Ape put his in a fancy box. Mine's ghetto fabulous and goes in a Ziploc bag. This is hooked up to the meter. Our meter's set to voltage right here, DC volts. And then we have, of course, we have our pigtail wire, tiger tail, that we're going to use to test with. And I'm going to be using uh, an FT5D to, use, to do the tests. And in one of my videos, I said half wave, and it's a quarter wave. So we're testing on two meters. So two meters divided by four works out to 19.5 inches, give or take. So it's pretty close. And that's what I have our wire cut to. So, without further ado, let me zoom in on the meter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the radio over here on the corner of the table off camera at a spot where I know exactly where it is so that the relative readings, which is what this meter is going to show us, are exactly the same distance from the transmitter to the RF detection unit. All right, so we're going to be testing on 146.52. I'm setting up my, uh, my test stool over here. And the radio's on, and let's see what we get when we key up. KN4 YCD test one, two, three, four. KN4 YCD test one, two, three, four. So about seven and a half. I, uh, I had a brain seizure there and I picked the radio up. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it sitting on the table so it's in exactly the same spot. Let's run that one more time. KN4 YCD testing 1234 on national call. KN4 YCD test clear. Okay, 7.14, give or take. So let's grab our tiger tail. And what I did on this, you know, in the other two videos, we use the rig expert. So on this guy, I've just got a spade terminal that I'm going to slip in there and screw the antenna down on top of it. It's not as... Uh, scientific as I'd like, but it's what we got. So we're still on call, national call, and the tiger tail is hanging down. That's a quarter wave on two meters, and let's see what we get. Not much difference, actually it's less. KN4 YCD test, one, two, three, four. Huh, that is not what I'd expected. Let's take it back off. And now we're getting even better. KN4 YCD test, national call, test one, two, three, four. Let me be very careful here. The radio is sitting on the table. 
and I don't even want to turn it. KN4 YCD test, one, two, three, four. KN4 YCD test, one, two, three, four. Well, not entirely what I expected. I've seemed to get gotten inconsistent results with this test. I haven't been able to get it to consistently show me better reception uh, as far as power output. Without moving the radio one more time, I'm gonna take off the tiger tail, screw the antenna back on, and I'm literally keying it the same way every time. K and four YCD test, one, two, three, four. So that's showing that we're getting more RF without the tiger tail attached. So I don't know if we wanted to play with that and go with a little longer. Let me, uh, let me rig up a slightly longer one and see if that gives us any different results. All right, I've got another piece of wire here. I don't know, about five or six inches. And I'm just gonna uh, twist it together with the other, the other wire. All right, once again, with, with no tiger tail on the antenna, and the antenna is screwed in tight. K and four YCD test, one, two, three, four just about 12. And this is with probably about a two foot piece of wire now, based on what I've added on. K and four YCD test, one, two, three, four. That's absolutely worse. Test one, two, three, four, K and four YCD, clear. That is worse. So let's get rid of our add-on. Seems to be incredibly positional. I'm moving it around over here. I've got it spread out. I mean, essentially we've created a dipole at this point, I guess. So that's a little better. Let me try putting it on the back side of the radio. It's hanging off the front right now. Okay, it's it's hanging off the back side of the radio. Let me key up. K and four YCD tests. One, two, three, four. K and four YCD clear. So that's pretty terrible. That is a 19 and a half inch wire. Let me knock off about three inches. I'm kind of over this whole thing. See, that's better just getting rid of three inches of wire. K and four YCD test. One, two, three, four. Clear. Well, let's try just a little more. And I'm just, I'm just knocking this down about, about two or three inches every time. K and four YCD test. Yeah, we're, we're almost back up to without the tiger tail. And for what it's worth, you know, we ain't got much wire left here. Got about, I guess about 10 or 12 inches. Yeah, well now we're kind of going the other way. One more time. Yeah. And we're almost back up to where we were. All right, I'd call those results inconsistent, inconclusive. We've done our test. I'm not entirely sure what we proved or didn't prove here. I thought the results were not good, one way or the other, very inconsistent. With a 19.5 inch tiger tail, which is quarter wave on two meters, our signal was less, less RF was detected than was without, without the tiger tail. The performance I'm seeing here is just as good with the rubber duck and the rubber duck alone as it is with adding on a wire dangling. You know, we tried, we tried the long wire, didn't get very good results from that. It just, uh, it just doesn't seem super consistent. The SWR readings were better in the last video, but with a test set up here and not moving the radio anywhere different. I mean, literally it's at, it's at that corner of the table and the RF detector is at that corner of the table I'm not moving them, and our signal went down with a 19 and a half inch tiger tail. It got better as I cut wire off, which is ridiculous, but you can see the results pretty clearly. I suppose in an emergency situation, if you couldn't open up a repeater, it's something worth playing with by wrapping a wire around your antenna and hoping for the best. And to be clear, what I did to hook this on was I slid a spade lug here on the radio and then just tightened the antenna itself down on the spade lug so it made good contact with the ground. And I know it was making good contact. So that didn't really, didn't really do anything for us one way or the other. So I'm gonna call this a bust. Um, I just don't see any point in doing it. This is uh, what Hollywood was talking about where SWR doesn't exactly always tell the tale because according to my detection setup, we're not actually putting out any more power with the tiger tail than we were with just the antenna by itself. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That is all I've got for today. If you would make sure and smash the like button, 
subscribe because 90% of you people who watch the videos are not subscribed. It'll make you happy. And make sure you share this with your friends. I'm 73.